Hi everyone, I'm Sumedha and in this episode of the Daily Roundup, we give you a glimpse of some of the most important stories that we report about at NewsClick. The documents which have been accessed by the Caravan magazine reveal that the Income Tax Department is in possession of the copies of diary entries in the handwriting of the prominent BJP leader and the former Chief Minister of Karnataka, BSY Yadurappa. The diary entries note payoffs amounting to rupees 1,800 crores to BJP's national leaders, the central committees, the judges and also some advocates. Yajurapa recorded these alleged payouts in Karnataka State Assembly Legislator's 2009 diary. In Kannada, in his own handwriting, copies of these entries have been with the Income Tax Department since 2017. The copy of the diary pages note that Yadurapa had actually paid the BJP Central Committee's rupees 1,000 crore that he had paid the Finance Minister and the Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari rupees 150 crore each. The other names include that of Rajnath Singh and he had given him 100 crores and also the BJP stalwart LK Advani and also the senior party leader Murli Manohar Joshi. Besides this, the entry also notes that Yadurapa had paid 10 crore to Nitin Gadkari's son for his wedding. The alleged diary entries also showed that 28 people had paid Yadurapa rupees 2690 crores, each ranging from rupees 5 crores to about 500 crores. The diary was seized by the tax department during a raid on the home of the senior Congress leader DK Shivkumar in August 2017. barely a month to go for the general elections, communal tensions are being flared up. Prior to the celebrations of Holi across India, in eastern UP, some of the houses belonging to the Muslim communities were attacked with cow dung. The right wing is also trying its best to flex its muscle in the state to polarise voters and to create tensions. However, there are more reports which are still coming in about how this can unfold in the future. After failing to defend the Forest Rights Act, the BJP government is now making its attempts to overhaul the Indian Forest Act of 1927. It would mean that the forest officials will now have enhanced policing and quasi-judicial powers. This includes the powers to use firearms with exceptional levels of immunity from prosecution. Another worrisome problem with the overhaul of the Act is that in the suggested changes, the forest officials would now be able to deny or extinguish the rights of traditional forests to tribals. Even those which are already recognized under the FRA, reducing or restricting the tribals and forest dwellers' access to forest produce. With the changes to the acts, it has become evidently clear that the BJP is attempting all it can to trample forest rights that were actually achieved after a long-drawn struggle with the British. That's all that we have for you today on this episode of the Daily Roundup. To follow these stories and many more, log on to our website www.newsclick.in, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.